Hey, it's Paul with RackOutfitters.com. Here to show you the most popular horizontal kayak carriers. Here we have them all spread out on this bench here. And there's quite a bit going on, so we'll just kind of move through and show you what the key differences are between the Thule brand, the Rhino Rack brand, and the Yakima brand of horizontal kayak carriers. So generally you have two ways you can carry kayaks on the roof rack of a vehicle. It is either vertically where the kayaks are held on their side, or in this case that we'll be showing horizontally where the kayak is supported by cradles, basically sitting in the same way that it sits in the water. So you have the hull being supported by the saddles. Now among this category, we have different versions. We have versions, for example, here, the Thule Dock Glide, which is designed for rear loading. So the rear saddles allow for the kayak to glide, and then it reaches the front saddles where it grips. So here's an example of the rear saddles with the felt to allow the kayak to glide across as you're loading from the rear until it reaches the front where it has the rubber that grips. In this case, now we'll go into some details about these two different two different types of saddles. So this, this gripping design is called a sling saddle and it has a lot of conformity with the rubber and the frame underneath the rubber to adapt to the different hull shapes. Now what you're seeing on the underside here is the way that Thule has designed these to where it can fit the widest possible range of roof rack crossbars. So here we have their universal method of fitment. So this is for, for all types of different bars that you'll find that are approved on the Thule fit guide. You'll notice it can be flipped for narrow crossbars or widened for wide crossbars, plus of course, tightened up uh, to get a really good grip. Now you'll notice there's a seam here. So this is the other method of attachment. This is a, a track or a T-slot method of attachment both from the same, same product, you can adapt it to work either way. So this is a, a popular design for people that want to mount the carrier into the track of the bar. So in this case, it slides in with, with, a, with a set of a square headed bolt and another fastener, and that slides in and gives you its attachment to the top of the bar. The benefit to that is that you have the full length of the bar to adjust and position your saddle. So now there's two versions. So we have essentially what we just showed you was the dock glide. And then down below it here, we have the dock grip. Now the dock grip would give you for the front bar and the rear bar, the rubber sling saddles. And so these would be prefer preferable for someone that wants to load from the side of the vehicle and so you can load from the side and get the full benefit of the gripping conformity of that rubber. Okay, included with this setup will be a whole suite of strapping. So you have your cam buckle heavy duty straps with the, the cam buckle super easy and strong. And then the cover that covers that up so it protects your vehicle from the, from the metal of that buckle. Then here we have their premium bow stern tie downs. So the bow stern, this, in this case, you've got a, a pulley system with a ratchet mechanism, a built-in carabiner, the strap, the hook, and then also a, a auxiliary strap to keep the hook or, or ratchet mechanism away from the vehicle. So of course, all that is fully detailed in the instructions. And what we're showing here is just half of the unit. When you purchase the complete product, you'll get all four of your cradles and your complete set so we've spent uh, quite a bit of time on this one, but now we're gonna move on to the others and show what the key differences are. Now here you'll notice instead of just two boxes, Rhino Rack, their approach is to make four different configured uh, saddle systems because there's in that Rhino, in that Thule, you can separate the bottom half and configure it for T-slot or universal these are either or. So the universal will be the 571 and the 570. That's considered universal to wrap around a wide range of different bar types, shapes and sizes. Of course, check the guide to make sure your bars are approved for that application. But the concept remains very similar in that you have a felt saddle for the rear, 
a sling saddle for the front. This one doesn't have that same sort of adjustability like the Thule where you can actually change it from being, have that curvature to it to pressing in the button and flattening that, that out. So that's a, a difference. Uh, also I'll mention you have this unique uh, pliable rubber design. So in comparison, the Rhino Rack is, is, a, is a very similar in design. Now we also have the, this version here. This is the 581 and the 570, and these are designed for T-slot carriers. So in a very similar way, how we demonstrated how Thule has their T-slot mounting, so does Rhino Rack. So it can be mounted into the track of the bar. So I'm gonna demonstrate that first let me get this end cap off something unique about rhino rack is that they do have a tamper resistant cover that's included to prevent access to this this wing wing knob until you get to it so there you have their method and that just slides on there's a plastic guide and then the actual square head bolt and you tighten that on and that gets you your secure fitting to the top side of your bar. And then you can reinsert your cover and lock it, and you've got a very effective theft deterrent, which comes with all four of your cradles. Now, so you have, you've, you've learned the two different methods of attachment. You do have both styles. So with the T-Track method of attachment, you can have rear loading with the felt in the back and the sling saddle on the front, or you can have both saddles with the rubber for side loading. Whereas here, you've got the same idea, but these are both for the universal attachments. So 571, 570, and 581, and 570. Again, with these designs, they come with a suite of, of straps. So here's, for comparison, to Rhino Rack strap. Also a cam buckle with the integrated rubber pre-attached and all set to go to protect that your vehicle from that uh, buckle and then here you have their bowster and tie down strap so this one is is another cam style buckle uh, lastly i want to mention from a security standpoint for the universal method of attachments they provide you with a unique hex wrench that's a hollow point so it's required that you use that in order to tighten it on and remove it. So that gives you a level of theft deterrent for that universal version. Okay, so from here, let's move on to Yakima. Now Yakima has what they call the sweet roll. So one product that essentially does a lot of what these other products do. So again, we have a front and the front is a essentially a plastic platform here, but has an inlay of rubber to give the grip but it's also very pliable to give you good conformity to the hull shape, okay? Versus the rear, the rear also pliable, but you, with a unique roller in the back. So they went away from just having felt to actually having a friction-free roller in a, in a strategic position to make gliding the hull up onto the saddle much, much more friction-free. Now, if you have a particular boat where you want to preserve the finish of the boat, maybe it's a fiberglass or some, some finish, you can add felt pads to it separately if that's something that, that you feel is necessary for, for something that's a more of a refined finish on the boat. Now, discussing the method of attachment. So here, it's very simplified to where you just have one method of attachment and it's a very simple method with just a turn knob and that turn knob allows you to disconnect it from your crossbar and reposition it from your crossbar. So very, very simple, very understandable for anyone to take this on and off to an approved roof rack system. Now, another nice thing about this sweet roll system is that you have the option, because that is so easy to take on and off, you can actually add Yakima SKS lock cores to each one of these saddles. So again, you'll have a set of four as depicted in the front picture here. You've got the two in the front and two in the back. A set of four lock cores, which are sold separately, could lock each one of those and prevent access. That's essentially done just by inserting the lock. Once you get that tight, you'll notice there's these little points which engage into the handle. 
And when you engage that into the handle, that prevents that from loosening up. So a good theft deterrent, and it's a keyed theft deterrent, unlike the other designs, which are considered to be tamper resistant, this has a higher level of theft deterrent. Okay, so, and then once again, you get the two heavy duty straps, cam buckle uh, at the end with a cover to protect the vehicle. You've got a retention clip that's included with this, this design. And then here you have their version of a Bowstern tie down, which is a plastic release uh, clip, and then a hook and your strap, and then also some sort of surgical tubing there to protect the finish of the vehicle if it comes in contact with the painted surface of the vehicle. Okay, so these are your choices from the major manufacturers, Yakima, Rhino Rack, and Thule. All excellent options. It's good to see it in this, in this way so you can get it, make a good decision on which style is gonna be best for your particular application and your method of loading. So all the links to these products are in the video description. Be sure to check that out. Like and subscribe to our channel and be sure to watch back for other videos that we have in this series regarding comparisons between the major brands. And thanks for watching.